Hey guys, what is going on? Hey, coming back at you guys with a brand new video. <coughs> so if you've been a fan, or well, if you've been watching the channel since AW, then you may or may not know that I like to anchor, and you know, that's my role, I guess I could say, uh, especially in Black Ops 3. I'm definitely an AR anchor, and in AW I had a series which was a hardpoint anchor series, and that will be coming back in Black Ops 3, so let's get right into it. First off, we got to start off with the class, my best, or my favorite slash the best anchor class in my opinion uh, is obviously MA A7 with Elo, Quick Draw, Stock, and Long Barrel. And then, uh, well, let me change this uh, for respawn. But uh, you want to have the RK5 on as your secondary for those close range gunfights because the RK5 is really OP and it's like really like just rapid fire. So if you like tag them up, you know, close range, just rush them, just pop up, and they're dead. Just two bursts. And then um, attack mask. And then you want to run perk three greed and run blast pressure so for SMD. I just swap out tax max tack mask for dead silence. But as if you're playing SMD, and you guys can see my sexy camera right there. I made the aqua camo from Black Ops Two. But yeah, so that is a class setup. Now let's get into the anchoring part. We're gonna start off with fringe hardpoint, the first installment to the series. So I hope you guys keep in, keep watching and enjoying this series and uh, yeah if you guys enjoy the series make sure you like comment share, subscribe and share with your competitive gaming buddies um, share it on Twitter you know give me a shout out because you know I feel like this is like really informative and yeah I hope you guys enjoy I'll catch you in the next one. alright guys uh, now I'm back with the gameplay so as you can see I've loaded into the game with my MA A1 hey, MA A1 I wish it was Black Ops 2 no I'm kidding Black Ops 3 is a fun game but with my MA A7 class um, there's two ways you can approach the first turn. I'm going to show you the first one, then I'll show you the second one. The first one is, you just want to have your team set up in Hill with trophies, and you can just watch this. And uh, they'll be crossing from, or like, sometimes people will like, glitch this, and or they'll just like cross to this side, you can just peek and kill them. Then there'll like usually be a person on that head glitch. And then the person that's going to try to cross is going to try to get on this head glitch right here for this truck. And then there'll usually be one up there. So like, once you've killed these guys, since you're the anchor and you want to be holding spawns, you definitely want to run back here and check the flank because one person is always, always usually flanking through that room right there. So, yeah, that's one way to approach it. Another way would be if you spawn up right here, you could come up through here, just head glitch this window, and they'll usually be up there. So that's like your like main gunfight area, and then you're like, you'll, they'll be everywhere. But, like, the reason I like using that corner over there more than this window is because you're a lot more like open, like in an open area, I guess you could say. Like, there's not really much you can work with. Like, you could, like, you, you can't really angle yourself as much as you would be able to from that corner. You can like peek different things at different times and stuff. It's a lot easier that way. But yeah, this first hill is more of a slay hill, like AR Slayer hill from like AW, than more like of a Black Ops 2 anchor hill. Like, you can also set up right here. This is a good spot. But yeah, that's just like where you feel comfortable. You just want to like try to get as many kills as you can. Then on this hill, oh, I forgot to tell you guys, but this is a two double AR map. So you're going to have one AR watching mid and then like, you know, just watching the bricks. Because like if your teammates are good and you have good SMGs, they're going to be pushed up through alley for that hill. They're going to be pushing up through alley, just like holding it and bricks. So like your enemy, like the opposing team will spawn over like in train tracks down there and they'll like try to cross through mid into that building so you want to tag them up and call them out as they go by and they'll also try to flip spawns by flanking grandmas which you don't want to do because next hill is right there and then the other AR either needs to be sitting on this window and watching alley or watching bricks like you just need to work that out with your SMGs and see what would be easier to watch for the AR slash what would be easier to watch for the SMG and then for this hill if your teammates or if your AR is held like full spawns which is not like necessarily hard to do but it's, it's like it's a pretty good thing if you can do it uh you want to be watching this and you can watch it from any angle you can be watching it from here watching it from there watch it from there watch it from here just lay down let them cross you know and then just kill them uh so one of your arrows needs to be anchoring and then the other needs to be playing that aw sort of role like you know ar slayer kind of pushing out trying to get kills off spawn and um, he needs to be watching the front, right? He needs to be watching this side, just trying to kill him off mid, because usually they're going to be spawning back alley, as I said earlier, right over there. So they will, like, half push this way, and then they'll half push, like, mid or train. And so you just want to push, like, pick him up right here. 
Just keep in mind though that if one of your teammates pushes this out too far for some reason, they're gonna spawn train and it's gonna be a lot easier for them to put spawns. So if you held that hill down correctly, you're gonna be spawning right around here for next hill. And all the AR has to do is like one of the ARs has to help the hill from like this angle, maybe this head glitch angle, this head glitch angle, possibly push up, like if you have three or four down. You could possibly push up and fight from this side glitch, but you don't want to push that farther than that or else you're going to flip swans, um, most likely. And then the other AR, this needs to be holding that like first hill angle again, you know, just holding mid down, so they're not able to flank you and flip spawns, because you want to hold the spawns for next hill once again. So, yeah, your ARs need to like really shine on this hill, because literally all the SMGs have to do on this hill is just sit on this train, and you have to like, or like wall run to their side, but like, all the SMGs have to do is really just like sit on this train and expect the ARs to slay out around them. Because if they're not able to do that, the opposing team is going to push up and easily kill them off that. Because it's like, it's really hard, like I play SMG, so it's really hard for an SMG to like sit here and contest, and then react, like you know, like really fast, which they're coming. So, yeah, the AR has to go big on that hill. And then back to first hill, obviously, uh, you know, there's numerous angles you can hold. Um, but for like for the rotation to the next hill, which is the last point I will be discussing, but for the rotation to the next hill, your AR, he wants to give like he wants to like just let the SMGs hang out for about ten seconds with the other people contested, just keep it contested, and he wants to like get a couple kills at next. And then I guess the same AR could come back and watch flank, but like maybe the other AR wants to like right on the hill like rotates he wants to watch this just sit here for like a good five seconds five ten seconds and just watch if anything flanks because usually even if like the hill is already rotated the opposing team will spawn like back red maybe like her back barn and they'll like try to send one flank to like get spawns for next and they'll come through here and you can get an easy kill on that but yeah guys so that kind of wraps up the video um like the first installment of the hardpoint anchor series so yeah, as you guys can tell, this is a lot more like anchor, like this game is a lot more anchor dependent, like Black Ops 2 compared to AW where it's just like the AR needs to slay out, get as many kills as you can. In this game, it's like, it's more Black Ops 2, the AR just needs to stay alive, has the least amount of deaths on their team. So yeah guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I did Fringe first because I know that this is going to be a map in the rotation, like for fact, just because it's such a good map, but, like this people haven't really figured out all the maps and like the rule sets and stuff, so... I'm going to maybe wait a couple days for the next installment. But I hope you guys just enjoy the first installment. If you did, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up. Like, comment, favorite, subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one.